Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Mormon Stories Podcast. I'm your host, uh, John DeLynn. It is November 8th, 2023, and today we are going to be talking about uh, a really important news story that's been breaking recently. Uh, the title that we've given to this episode is Did Mormon Millionaire Russell Brunson Expose uh, um, you know, Mormon Church Apostle M. Russell Ballard and the LDS Church in a lie um, or in a series of lies. That's going to be the topic for today's discussions. We think it's really important. I'll just say at the outset, our our desire isn't to put uh, Russell Brunson on blast. We have every reason to believe he's a really good guy. And uh, it's not even to put M. Russell Ballard on blast. If I could just sort of editorially state at the beginning, the Mormon church in its temple recommend interviews asks every member whether they're honest in their dealings with their fellow men. And if people answer no to that, or if they're found to be dishonest, then uh, people can be denied the ability to go into the temple, to get saving ordinances for the church, and even to attend um, you know, the weddings of their own children or family members. So the Mormon church uses this issue of honesty in a way that uh, can be very punishing to members. And so if that's the case, then I think it's uh, fair to hold the Mormon church in that system to uh, a high standard as it relates to uh, honesty. So that's that's why we're talking uh, about this today. We believe there's good evidence that the Mormon church and Apostle M. Russell Ballard have been mis misleading people and deceiving people, and we think that's wrong. Um, so check out our evidence, see if you agree. Um, I want to also uh, begin by giving a shout out to uh, the great work of journalist Lynn Packer. Lynn Packer has a YouTube channel called Lynn Kenneth Packer. And uh, Lynn Packer has been covering this stuff with uh, uh, Tim Ballard and Elder Ballard for a long, long time. And he deserves lots of credit because he's been a pioneer in this regard. So we'll try and include the links to Lynn Packer's YouTube channel in the show notes, but please check it out. And thanks uh, to Lynn uh, Packer for all he's done. We do have a couple episodes with Lynn Packer years ago talking about Paul Dunn and lies told by Mormon General Authority Paul Dunn, and also talking about uh, Tim Ballard and Operation Underground Railroad years before any of this stuff came out. Um, all right, so I have to give a little bit of background before we jump into Russell Brunson and the recent uh, potential alleged lies told by the LDS Church and M. Russell Ballard. Um, you know, a few months back, uh, we all knew that Vice News broke a story that uh, the Mormon Church denounced Operation Underground Railroad's Tim Ballard and, um, and basically claimed that uh, Tim Ballard had morally, morally unacceptable activities. They did their best to distance M. Russell, Mormon apostle, very senior Mormon apostle, M. Russell Ballard from Tim Ballard and made uh, all sorts of, of false claims, we believe, that we'll be covering. Let's go ahead and share the statement that the Mormon church released to Vice News that ended up getting reported around the world. Um, <clears throat> the Mormon church claimed in response to the emerging Tim Ballard scandals about Tim Ballard potentially allegedly harassing multiple women as a part of Operation Underground Railroad about uh, financial fraud, about misleading people about his jumps in the third world developing countries, etc. cetera. Um, once the Mormon church found out that uh, all these investigations and all this information was gonna be made public, then the Mormon church chose to distance itself from Tim Ballard and uh, especially M. Russell Ballard from Tim Ballard. And in that statement, the Mormon church, I'll just read it. Uh, President Ballard and Tim Ballard established a friendship a number of years ago. That friendship was built on a shared interest in looking after God's children, wherever they are, and without regard for their circumstance. However, that relationship is in the past. For many months, President Ballard has had no contact with founder of OUR. Tim Ballard, the nature of the relationship was always in support of vulnerable children being abused, trafficked, and otherwise neglected. Once it became clear that Tim Ballard betrayed their friendship through the unauthorized use of President Ballard's name, and remember that term, unauthorized use of President Ballard's name for Tim Ballard's personal advantage and activity regarded as morally unacceptable, President Ballard withdrew his association. President Ballard never authorized Tim, uh, his own name or the name of the LDS Church to be used for Tim's personal or financial interests. 
So that's a really important first part of a previous lie, which was the Mormon church saying that El Elder Ballard never gave Tim Ballard permission to use his name um, or to promote anything, uh, you know, there too, um, or the name of the church in any of Tim Ballard's financial interests. And of course, all of Tim Ballard's nonprofits and for-profits were for his own personal financial interests. The statement goes on to say, in addition, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints never endorsed, supported, or represented OUR, Tim Ballard, or any projects associated with them. And we showed in a previous episode of Mormon Stories that uh, just the Deseret News alone had over 220, we, we were able to count articles um, supporting and promoting Tim Ballard, his books, Operation Underground Railroad, and then Deseret Book sold several of Tim Ballard's books for many, many years. And even M. Russell Ballard gave talks, at least one to BYU-Idaho, um, but but also I think we found articles published in the on LDS.org and maybe in the church magazines where M. Russell Ballard publicly endorsed Tim Ballard. So those were all lies uh, related to the church and M. Russell Ballard trying to distance his prior support of Tim Ballard distanced himself from that and from the church financially supporting Tim Ballard. So we've already covered those um, untruths uh, previously. Uh, it's worth noting that the Deseret News came on and said that they independently verified the legitimacy of the statement issued by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to Vice News. So that, that shows Deseret News lying, apparently, allegedly lying, just like uh, the LDS Church has. Well... After the LDS Church um, issued those statements uh, distancing Elder Ballard and the church from Tim Ballard, um, the man that we're going to be talking about today, Russell Brunson, came on Facebook and I believe Instagram and elsewhere and um, responded to the negative media about Tim Ballard. And we're going to be playing the video of what that response was. But before we play it, this just shows you... Um, Russell Brunson's Facebook page uh, and, and the post that he made had over 3,000 likes or smiley faces or hearts, had over 580 comments, 457 shares. I'm guessing it was viewed hundreds of thousands, if not millions of times. And, 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 and he even apparently made two posts about it. Uh, you can still, as of this, as of today, November 8th, he still had those up. We've included a link in the... Uh, in the description uh, on YouTube, a link to, I think, his Instagram post where that video remains up. But as I understand it, his Facebook posts are still up as of November 8th, 2023, which is weird. I would have thought the church would have asked him to take that down. Anyway, when We on Mormon Stories covered uh, the Mormon church condemning Tim Ballard, episode 1813, we actually played clips from Russell Brunson's um you know, uh, video. So we, we covered that months ago, um, but it wasn't covered very heavily elsewhere, um, you know, which is normal. Uh, so that happened. Um, and then, um, and then recently, uh, several of Tim Ballard's alleged, uh, victims amended their lawsuit against Tim Ballard. And in that, which we uh, covered, I believe, last week on Mormon Stories podcast. Uh, we we issued a, uh, that episode called Mormon Church Condemns Tim Ballard. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Mormon Apostle handed tithing records to Tim Ballard. So that was an episode that we released, uh, I believe, last week. But we basically read the amended lawsuit against Tim Ballard and a bunch of co-defendants by several of his sexual harassment victims. And in that uh, complaint or in that filing, it's uh, reported, it's alleged that uh, M. Russell Ballard uh, shared tithing information, uh, wealthy donor information to Tim Ballard and or Operation Underground Railroad, um, you know, as a part of M. Russell Ballard's support for Tim Ballard and Operation Underground Railroad. And I don't think anybody doubts that that's likely that he did that. Anyone who's trying to be objective about this, given how uh, much the church and uh, M. Russell Ballard was supporting Tim Ballard all over the place in OUR. But check out that um, 
Check out that Mormon Stories episode for more. And of course, check out the original amended lawsuit against Tim Ballard. It's a doozy. It, it says all sorts of things, including, oh, that I believe it alleges that Emma Russell Ballard gave Tim Ballard an apostolic blessing that he would eventually become president, both president of the United States and an apostle to the Mormon church or president of the Mormon church. Um, and uh, just all sorts of really outrageous kind of claims. So anyway, uh, in response to uh, that Mormon Stories episode and the amended lawsuit, uh, some articles came out. And in this case, uh, an article came out by uh, KUTV in Salt Lake City that said, Latter-day Saint Church denies allegations of sharing confidential tithing records with Tim Ballard. So again, KUTV News and probably other news outlets said that the Mormon Church denies, um, you know, that that M. Russell Ballard or or the Mormon Church would ever share donor information or don donor uh, donor receipts or donor names or wealthy donor names or wealthy tithe payer wealthy tithe payers names to you know Tim Ballard or OUR or anything like unto it. Interestingly, the Mormon Church's response to that article was the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints regards tithing records as sacred and keeps them confidential. Leaders ensure such information is not used for personal, political, or commercial purposes. President Ballard has never released tithing records to OUR or any or organizations. Two things, it doesn't deny that M. Russell Ballard shared tithing donor information with Tim Ballard. So it doesn't even deny those allegations. It looks like it tries to evade uh, acceptability or evade accountability by saying that President Ballard never released tithing records to OUR or any other organization. But maybe he didn't reveal tithing records, but he could have revealed names of donors or wealthy donors. It's a very lawyerly PR kind of statement that does not include a denial of the core allegations. It kind of tries to skirt them. Anyway, so that's that's the KUTV news article. And then just recently, a day or two ago, I was informed of an article that came out with, uh, again, ABC4 News, ABC4 News this time. And uh, <clears throat> I was doing a bunch of other episodes, so I didn't get to it. But as soon as I tried to look up the ABC4 uh, news article that people were linking it to, it had already been taken down. So somehow, we're going to talk about it in a second, but um, what we were able to find is Yahoo's reprinting of the ABC4 News article that was put out. Um, so if you want to know what, what, our, what news article ABC News released and then took back, we have to go to Yahoo to, to find that out. And the Yahoo article um, repeating the ABC4 News article says, ClickFunnels founder, and again, it's talking about Russell Brunson here, ClickFunnels founder claims LDS Church set up meeting with Tim Ballard. So that was ABC4 News in Salt Lake City reporting on what we covered on Mormon Stories a few weeks back, which was that, which was the multi-millionaire Mormon Russell Brunson um, claimed that LDS Church uh, M. Russell Ballard set up a meeting with him and Tim Ballard, which counters Elder Ballard's claim and the Mormon Church's claim and the Deseret News claim that that M. Russell Ballard never, um, well, gave out wealthy donor information or did anything to support uh, Tim Ballard, OUR, or Tim Ballard's financial operations. So anyway, Yahoo uh, repeats uh, re replicates the article that ABC4 News puts out. Um, we're, we're not able to find the ABC4 News article. I just got an awesome email from a man named Matt Stoker. He gave us permission to use his name. The email says, Russell Brunson article removed by ABC4 is because church asked for it to be removed. I just want to, I just want to note something. The Mormon church is so powerful. It can call ABC4 News in Salt Lake City and tell them to take an article down. Uh, I think that's significant. That's the Mormon church allegedly silencing the free press to do its bidding when the Mormon church doesn't like 
what's going on. I want to thank people right now who are uh, in the comments. Somebody's saying hit the like button. I will just say thank you for that support letter, Daily Digest. Please do subscribe to Mormon Stories uh, podcast, a YouTube channel, and to our Facebook channel. Uh, we also would uh, really appreciate if anyone values this type of content, the way that you can support it is by uh, becoming a monthly donor uh, to Mormon Stories podcast. Um, and you could do that by going to mormonstories.org, clicking on the donate button and becoming a monthly donor. Uh, that's how we pay for all that we do. And, um, you know, we're a 501c3 nonprofit and we de de depend on support. So please subscribe to these channels. Please like it. If we could have all thousand of you like and share these videos right now, they'll get uh, the, the algorithms will pick them up and share them everywhere. We almost have a thousand people joining us between YouTube and Facebook, uh, and other people will join later. The more that people like and comment and share, um, that will help. Uh, also, anyone who decides to donate to us through the Super Chats um, on YouTube, uh, that helps us in addition to the to the donations that we get at mormonstories.org. Anyways, we got this article. I'm just going to, this email, we're going to read it from Matt Stoker. He writes, this was just uh, an hour or so ago, um, less than an hour ago, he emails us. Hi, I called ABC4. For his newsroom and spoke with Natasha in assuming an intake worker, he's assuming an intake worker or junior journalist. Matt Stoker goes on, I asked her what she could tell me about the removal of Russell Brunson's article, and she said that upper management had it taken down after church, after the LDS church spoke with them. Natasha said they, I'm assuming newsroom staff and management, are meeting about it and deciding on what to do moving forward. She also said the article was removed because of concerns over biases. Uh, this is all I know, but I wanted to get it to someone who can use the information. Happy to hop on the phone if you want more context. Good luck. So again, super disturbing. Apparently, uh, according to Matt Stoker and the person he spoke with at ABC4 News, all the Mormon church has to do to silence the free press is call a, a TV station in Salt Lake City and tell them to take it down and they take it down. And that's what happened. Oddly, um, this same article that uh, that was published in, in Yahoo is now no longer available as well. So I'm not sure if the Mormon church called Yahoo and also convinced Yahoo to take the article down, or if uh, just because ABC4 News pulled it down, then it disappeared from Yahoo as well. Either way, just super disturbing example of the Mormon church um, uh, silencing the free press, press allegedly. Um, however, fortunately, we have uh, the Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine is this amazing resource uh, that you can go to under archive.org. Just type in Wayback Machine. And it takes screenshots of, of stuff posted to the internet. And while apparently the ABC4 News article was removed before the Wayback Machine could take a shot of it. Uh, the Yahoo article remained on the Wayback Machine long enough for uh, for the Wayback Machine to take a shot of it. So here we have um, here we have the text of the article that was so disturbing to the Mormon Church that they had um, ABC4 News take it down, and I'm just going to read it. And then we're going to talk about who Russell Brunson is and uh, what it said. So, uh, so this is ABC4 News reporting out of Salt Lake City. The co-founder of an Eagle Idaho digital marketing firm claimed in a social media video in September that a Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints General Authority introduced him to former Operation Underground Railroad founder Tim Ballard for the purpose of discussing ways to help OUR a claim that raises questions about the church's statement of having never endorsed or supported or supported OUR or any projects associated with Tim Ballard. So ABC4 News is noting that uh, M. Russell Ballard in the Mormon church uh, has likely been dishonest about the church saying that Ballard, L. M. Russell Ballard or the church have never endorsed or supported OUR or any of the projects associated with Tim Ballard. Goes on to say, ClickFunnels head Russell Brunson, that's his one of his companies, took to social media on September 16th in defense of Tim Ballard, but also claimed that M. Russell Ballard 
Current acting president of the church's Quorum of the Twelve Apostles introduced him to Tim Ballard, no relation. The full video posted to Facebook and Instagram features Brunson addressing his followers, friends, and those who have been donating to OUR with me about his thoughts on the recent negative media about um, Tim Ballard. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints denounces claims made by OUR former leader Tim Ballard. So that's a link um, uh, as well. It goes on to say, Brunson's video was made in response to reports of a September 15th statement from the LDS Church announcing Tim Ballard, claiming the former OUR founder betrayed a friendship with them, Russell Ballard. The church called Tim Ballard's activity morally unacceptable. In the church's statement, it claimed, quote, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints never endorsed, supported, or represented OUR, Tim Ballard, or any projects associated with them. I just discussed that previously. Following the release of the Church's statement in September, Tim Ballard and many of his supporters claimed it was fake, even with supporting documents and emails from numerous media outlets showing the statement had indeed been sent from church media representatives. Um, it goes on to say, Brunson vehemently claimed in his video that the LDS statement was fake and had been obtained, in his opinion, from rogue employees of the church. So unfortunately, Brunson went conspiratorial there and, uh, you know, in a, in a reaction, claimed that the, the PR statement, I think by his name's Doug Anderson from Church PR, was rogue and fake. Um, that That's unfortunate, but, you know, a lot of Mormons these days tend towards conspiratorial thinking, unfortunately. Goes on to say, Brunson has made no further statement on social media about Tim Ballard situation, and he had not responded to requests for comment from abc4.com prior to this piece being published. Brunson claimed that he knew the statement was fake because he had, quote, been in the room with both Ballards, Tim and M. Russell Ballard. Brunson claimed he was making this video as somebody who doesn't just have third-hand knowledge or who read an article about an article about an article, but as someone who has been involved with it, with him and the group for a long, long time. He goes on, quote, it's interesting because the way I found out about Tim Ballard and Operation Underground Railroad was actually from Elder Ballard. So, he, so Brunson is acknowledging that he found out about Tim Ballard from Mormon Apostle Um Russell Ballard. Brunson said, quote, he personally called me. So Brunson says, M. Russell Ballard, proactively called Brunson to tell him to talk to M. Russell Ballard, which is putting a wealthy tithe paying member in touch with M. Russell Ballard. Um, he personally called me and asked me to help Tim Ballard at NOUR. I have literally sat in the room with Elder Ballard and Tim Ballard as we discuss these things and these ideas. Close quote. ABC4 has also asked the church, the LDS church to clarify its statement saying it never endorsed or supported OUR or any projects associated with Tim Ballard. Um, uh, ABC4 has also asked the church to clarify its statement saying it never endorsed or supported OUR or any projects associated with Tim Ballard, considering Brunson claimed the meeting was specifically for that purpose. We are waiting to hear back. Well, I think ABC4 News did hear back from the Mormon Church, and the Mormon Church told them to shut this crap down, and, and apparently they did, unless there's something else going on that I don't know about. Uh, last part of the article, um, Brunson furthermore claimed, quote, he, Tim Ballard, is being attacked from the outside. This is not the truth. Again, this is coming from someone who literally, I've been in the room with him and Elder Ballard talking about these things, okay? I've been in the rooms. Elder Ballard's the only... The, the one that introduced me, Tim never came to me and like told me some big story and like tried to get me in. It was the opposite way around. Fully, you need to understand this is the way it actually worked. And remember at the time, Tim Ballard was claiming that he never traded on M. Russell Ballard's name. So Tim Ballard makes this video where he's telling everybody, I never traded on M. Russell Ballard's name and I never used him for any financial you know, whatever, um, in, engagements. So Brunson wanted to support Tim Ballard's statement that he never used Emerson Ballard's name to support Tim Ballard OUR. Unfortunately, what that does is it throws Emerson Ballard under the bus, uh, acknowledging that Emerson Ballard was proactively calling wealthy tithe donors and encouraging them to donate to and support OUR, um, uh, which again defies uh, the Mormon churches and Elder Ballard's claim that he never supported Tim Ballard or OUR financially. It's just a web of lies, 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 lies. Um, 
Okay. Uh, So he goes on to conclude fully, you need to understand this is the way it actually worked. This is the actual truth, not some rogue employee who got fired because they were bad at the job lying between their teeth. That's, that's what he's alleging, uh, you know, was a church PR spokesman who I have friends who uh, know Doug Anderson. And I think they'd be offended that he would be called a rogue employee who was lying between his teeth. Um, anyway, uh, Brunson goes on to say, that's literally what the sources are. If you look at where they are getting the stuff. It's ridiculous. Brunson closed his video by reaffirming his support for Tim Ballard and the work of OUR. Okay, so now let's talk about who, uh, oh, first of all, I just want to thank uh, those who are stepping up to support us uh, with the Super Chats. M. Gunter writes, following y'all new on and RFM has made me consider doing my anthropology PhD on Mormonism. I can't understate how wonderful y'all are. Thank you so much, M. Uh, Gunter. We really appreciate the support. Um, Ryan Jolly writes, down the memory hole, love to see Mormon stories remind the church the standard for honesty that they preach. Thank you, Ryan Jolly, for the support. And yes, we're doing this because the Mormon church literally keeps its members out of the temple, out of temple weddings, out of the weddings of their own children, out of its most sacred ordinances to make it the celestial kingdom if they admit to lying. So when M. Russell Ballard um, or Church PR lie publicly, it's a double standard that should be called out, uh, I believe. Wendy Merrill Perry, uh, thanks for your support. Um, ICU writes, as an ex Jehovah's Witness, I would love to see a coalition of ex cult members in all groups to fight these high uh, control groups together. Imagine the impact we could all have ex Scientologists, ex Amish, ex Mormons, ex Jehovah's Witnesses unite. Um, thank you for the support, ICU. And then finally, uh, also thanks to Jessica Frankel. Keep up this important work. Thanks, Jessica, for the support. Thanks to everyone who supports. Now we're going to talk about who Russell Brunson is and play that video again so you can hear the whole thing. This is a photo of uh, Russell Brunson uh, in front of an OUR banner, and he's holding a white piece of paper that says, End Human Trafficking, Wear Blue Day. Um, This is a photo of Russell Brunson with Tim Ballard at some – some event that they were on together. This is uh, this was a Facebook post, I believe, made in 2019, so four years ago. And that just shows how uh, this is probably some sort of uh, Silicon Slopes event because Silicon Slopes event is where a lot of the, the tech, the Mormon tech companies in Utah get together every year. And Tim Ballard has been a regular fixture at Silicon Slopes. And uh, Russell Brunson helps out with that, as I understand it, quite a bit. So that shows um, how, how supportive they were and are, and maybe are, all in response to M. Russell Ballard telling um, Russell Brunson to get in touch with Tim Ballard. So think about that. Russell Ballard, uh, sorry, M. Russell Ballard tells Russell Brunson to support Tim Ballard. I am confident that that not only did Russell Brunson donate to OUR, I believe he was helped out directly with OUR, but then they go on, you know, Silicon Slopes events, fundraising for for Tim Ballard and OUR. That's that's a direct result of M. Russell Ballard putting Russell Brunson in touch with, with Tim Ballard and OUR. So uh, these denials that the Mormon Church and M. Russell Ballard never did anything to promote or support Tim Ballard and OUR are just egregious and um, untrue. I love this comment. This comment wins the Mormon internet. This is uh, Lazy Praline 1898 on ex-Mormon Reddit. Uh, They write, all these Russells and Ballards are hurting my brain. (laughs) I love that. I love that quote. Uh, it's true. More on Russell Brunson. This is all the this. I, I think this is all the companies that he owns, including Kick Funnels, Ma- Ma- Magnetic Marketing, Understand Me, Lady Boss, Secrets of Success, Marketing Secrets, um, Zoomly, Doomly. I don't even know what that is. Anyway, he owns lots of stuff. Um, he's been working for 19 years. He's a New York Times bestselling author, uh, etc. This is an article talking about he's got he's got a, a Facebook page I believe with four seven hundred four thousand likes so almost a million nine hundred one thousand followers almost a million followers uh you know uh, ey entrepreneur of the year number 76 on the Inc 5000 USA Today best-selling author super successful guy 
Um, in terms of his net worth, it's been estimated to be at least, this is an article on Russell Brunson's uh, net worth from Jeremy Harrison, and uh, it's estimated that he's worth at least $47 million. Um, it could be much more, but that's what's estimated close to, you know, close to $50 million uh, is how much this guy's worth uh, at a minimum. These are the two Facebook posts that we've already referenced. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just play the clips now and provide commentary, but also we're confident that um, that uh, Russell Brunson is going to be take these, taking these videos down soon. So we want there to be a public record um, of that. So we're going to go ahead and play clips from his uh, video now and respond to them and react to them, but also submit them to the public record. So let's go ahead and play um, the Russell Brunson defense video. And I apologize that some of this is going to be a little bit repetitive because we just covered in that article a lot of the stuff he said. But again, we want it to be part of the public record and we'll talk about it. So let's go ahead and roll the tape. Hey, my name is Russell Brunson, for those who don't know me. And I make this video to talk about Tim Ballard. Um, a lot of you guys know that he's someone who we have been supporting for the last few years. Uh, some of you guys probably saw the new movie, Sound of Freedom. So you know a little about the story. Uh, this weekend, there was a bunch of um, new press coming out about Tim Ballard, people attacking him, his character, um, and just a whole bunch of stuff. And I've got a lot of you guys who are my friends, people who have been donating with me at OUR, wanting to know my opinion, what's happening. And um, so I wanted to make an official video um, to let you guys know my thoughts. And I'm making this video somebody who doesn't just have like third hand knowledge or read an article about an article about an article, someone who um, I've been involved with it, uh, with him and with the group for a long, long time. Um, so the most recent article that came out uh, was basically saying that the Mormon church was against Tim Ballard and this whole huge thing. And it's this big, this big scandal. Um, uh, and it's interesting because um, the way that I found out about Tim Ballard and the Operation Underground Railroad was actually from Elder Ballard. He personally called me and asked me to help Tim Ballard in Operation Underground Railroad. I have literally sat in the rooms with Elder Ballard and Tim Ballard as we discussed these things and these ideas. And so I want to start with, again, these are not my stories to tell, but just to let you know that um, the accusations that they're being made um, on the media are not true. Uh, as someone who was literally in the room when these conversations were happening, um, so that's number one. I wish I could go into a lot of detail, but they're not my uh, stories to tell, uh, but I was there for many. Okay, so there you have it. M. Russell Ballard called Russell Brunson, and then they met together. So the allegation that the M. Russell Ballard never solicited for Tim Ballard is not true, but also that M. Russell Ballard never, um, you know, disclosed names of wealthy donors or tithe payers to Tim Ballard and OUR, um, you know, potentially is, is uh, possibly suspect. Um, I'll go ahead and share a quote. This is from Russell Brunson. It's interesting because the way I found out about Tim Ballard Operation Underground Railroad was actually from Elder Ballard. Quote, he personally called me and asked me to help Tim Ballard and Operation Underground Railroad, and he sat in, in the meetings with them. So we covered that. Let's go ahead and go to the next clip. Any of them. Uh, number two, um, those who don't know me also, uh, I am a marketer. Uh, I built a, a large company buying ads on the internet. I know how media works. I know how uh, how to get people to click on ads. Um, we spend anywhere between a million to two million dollars per month, every single month on ads. Um, and this is the book, some of you may have heard it. It's called Trust Me, I'm Lying, Confessions of a Media Manipulator. Um, and if you read this book, uh, this is a book that most good marketers have read. They understand, they understand how to manipulate the media to get them to say what you need them to say. Um, really good book, by the way, for the marketing, the marketing friends out there. It's one of the best. Um, but for those who are like sitting there watching the TV and you're freaking out, like, oh my gosh, Tim Ballard's a bad person. Oh my gosh, oh, you are not good. Oh my gosh. And you're freaking out about these things because you don't understand how you're being manipulated. And I want to kind of bring this to the four lights. So you guys are fully aware of how these things work, right? Um, uh, like when I first got involved in with OUR and with Tim Ballard, uh, I was warned by multiple people, including Tim and Elder Ballard, like, if you decide to go down this path, the gates of hell are going to be going, begin to open up and like people will be attacking you. You'll be like, like they warned me for that, knowing that if I was going to go step and help in this, in them with these things, that was going to happen to me personally. Yeah. So a couple things, I, I think it's, you know, somebody made a really good quote, um, just now, Ladder Daily Digest just wrote, let me tell you 
uh, when you are being manipulated while I'm being manipulated. I also think it's important to note that, you know, Russell Brunson is talking about the art of manipulation when it's really clear that the Mormon church, its PR department and M. Russell Ballard uh, appear to be manipulating uh, both the membership and the public through its press releases and through these denunciations. So it's kind of rich that he is, he's addressing manipulation when, um, you know, he's, he's being an accomplice to it, but he's either a victim to it or he's, you know, even more deceptive than any of us, um, might imagine. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that, that him talking about manipulation is really interesting. Also, I think, you know, th this idea that Tim Ballard and OUR only, only get attacked by, by uh, bad people who want to do their cause harm. I think hopefully that's been des debunked that there was a federal investigation that there are at least, as I understand it, eight women who claim to be sexually harassed, um, by, by Tim Ballard. There's all sorts of fraud allegations. Now, um, th these were people with allegations that appear to be very, very credible and the federal government doing investigations that were very, very credible. And of course, we've already mentioned Sean Reyes sitting in the attorney's general office, receiving complaints about Tim Ballard and OUR. And uh, uh, according to the victims in that uh, amended lawsuit, potentially trying to silence victims, um, allegedly, and uh, having a, a really severe conflict of interest between his role to uphold the law um, in Utah, uh, but then also protecting OUR and Tim Ballard while he sits on the board as a legal advisor to OUR and Tim Ballard. That's just all really shady stuff. Um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, roll the next clip. Um, so you'll take somebody like Tim Ballard, who right now, uh, a movie came out, Sound of Freedom. Um, people are, are waking up and finally becoming aware of this thing that we've been fighting for for, you know, 10 plus years to help people understand, like, this thing is happening. This darkness, this evil is something you need to be aware of. You need to care about it. You need to raise money. You need to donate and you need to help and try to be part of it, right? And over the last three or four months, like, this has gotten huge. Like, people are finally waking up and realizing, like, oh, my gosh, this whole thing is a problem. And so all they're doing is trying to track, attack the credibility. So they're taking Tim Ballard and like, okay, how do we attack his credibility? Like, oh, he's part of the Mormon church. And there's these things like, let's try to figure out how we can, we can spin a story between these two things. And they go out there, they find um, rogue employees, people who got fired, people like all sorts of things. And they get people to say stuff and they mix it up and boom, they leak it to the bottom and the top. Right? Like, this is a big story. This guy's on TV all over the place. He's all over the movies. Like we can get a lot of clicks off. A lot of advertising dollars will come if we can leak the story quickly. So instead of doing sounds like good quality journalism and like figuring out the actual truth, they all instantly start sprouting out, start publishing all over the place. Again, if you want to see the playbook, how this game is played, it's called Trust Me, I'm Lying, Confessions of a Media Manipulator. This book will open your eyes to how it all works. And this is what's happening to you guys. So I want you all to be fully aware, those of you guys who are sitting at home, and especially if you're like someone who 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 loves OUR, loves Tim Bauer, loves what the mission, and like you saw Sound of Freedom, like I want to be part of this, and you've seen these other things, just be fully aware he's being attacked from the outside. This is not the truth, okay? This is not the truth. Again, yeah, so a couple things really important there. He talks about the attacks on Tim Ballard and OUR not being quality journalism, that you know people just provide quick responses without gathering the facts. I think it's unfortunate that he made that argument because literally in this video, Russell Brunson is instinctively reacting to the allegations against Tim Ballard and OUR without gathering the facts. Like he should have followed his own wisdom there and instead of just responding and claiming that anyone who attacks Tim Ballard and OUR is evil and is is part of a, a, a an attack scheme, he should have found out about the eight alleged victims uh, of Tim Ballard. He should have learned about the federal investigation. He should have uh, it, read what Lynn Packer wrote, the the excellent journalist that covered this topic for years on YouTube with meticulous research. And Brunson is just not following his own advice here. And um, it's it's a little bit ironic and hypocritical because he's literally doing what he tells people not to do. And that's unfortunate. I I hope he admits that or acknowledges it or, uh, you know, even apologizes for it because really he's doing here what he is, is saying other people shouldn't do. And it almost seems like he's guilty of um, 
you know, it, it almost seems hypocritical. So anyway, I don't mean to jump on him too much. He, I, by many reports, he's a nice guy, but I would love a clarification from him because he's got a freaking million followers plus, right? And he's influential. And here he is accusing church PR, Doug Anderson, you know, of being, being, uh, frauds or, or bad actors. He's covering for Tim Ballard and Russell Ballard and OUR when, when, when Russell Brunson's wrong and vice news and Lynn Packer and all the people that reported on the stuff were on the side of truth and evidence. I hope he'll issue some sort of retraction um or clarification all right let's go to the final clip and this is coming from someone who literally i've been in the rooms with him and elder ballard talking about these things okay i've been in the rooms elder ballard's one who introduced me tim never came to me and i like, told me some big story about elder ballard and i tried to get me in it was the opposite way around okay so fully you need to understand this is the way it's actually working this is the actual truth not some rogue employee who got fired because they were bad at their job lying behind between the teeth like this is what literally the sources are if you look at where they're getting the stuff like it's ridiculous like i understand the reality of it. I just wanted you guys to be aware of it as well because you're being played. And um, it's important if you guys understand that because if you understand that, then you can stand on the side of the person who's literally out there in the front of all this, taking all these arrows for you and for me so that we don't have to. And instead of us turning our back and like, oh, shoot some arrows too, like, oh, good. Like, I want to distance myself. Like, it's not true. These are lies. And uh, the more you understand that, um, the more you understand that the man and the character that Tim Ballard is, the more important it is. So uh, I want to make this video for him and for you to understand the truth. Um, uh, because this is the playbook they're using. It works good, um, but it's not true. So there you go. Hope that helps. Um, Tim, we love you. Tim, we support you. Tim, I'm here for you. Um, and uh, for everybody else, uh, I want to encourage you, instead of just believing what you see on the news, um, look behind the man, look behind the truth, look behind the works they're doing. By the fruits you shall know them. And uh, there's no better man on earth right now than Tim Ballard. So there you go. Appreciate you all. Thanks for listening. Well, there's, there's a lot there, but you know, but Ru Russell Brunson saying you're being played, that's true, but you're being played by Tim Ballard M. Russell Ballard, apostle, of the Mormon church, the Mormon church, PR, Deseret news, uh, and all the cover-ups. and unfortunately, you know, you're being, you're being played by them and their deceptions in the media. And unfortunately, whether it's intentional or not, in this video, you're being played by Russell Brunson. Now, you know, some people say he just didn't know better. If that's true, with a million plus followers and, and a wealth of reported 50 million or more, then I think we are owed an apology and an explanation and a clarification, um, Russell Brunson, because we, we have all been played and you, Russell Brunson, intentionally or not, were an accomplice to that. Um, you know, staying emphatically that it's not true, the allegations against Tim Ballard and Russell Ballard, you know, obviously that speaks for itself. And then, man, to end by saying Tim, Tim Ballard, there's no better man on this earth, especially given the allegations around the way he um, sexually harassed and manipulated uh, allegedly so many women, and then the fraud and the financial fraud and the fake jumps, the allegedly fake jumps, um, and his denial since it's just, uh, you know, that that's just hard. Um, there, uh, there have been some really important comments on Reddit that I think are worth mentioning. There's a, there's a post on Reddit by expensive actuary 14, and I'll just read it. Elder Ballard reached out to Russell Brunson, a wealthy member out of the blue about OUR. He says, story time, and I, and I thought with recent church news, it feels very relevant. Russell Brunson, who is a very wealthy member in the Boise area and a good friend of mine, told me this story a few years ago about how he got a random call from Elder Ballard's office asking to donate to OUR and help fund their documentary that is or was on Amazon Prime. So that's, that's a friend, a reported friend of Russell Brunson saying that M. Russell Ballard um, was looking to both donate to OUR, but also help fund the documentary, um, Visions of Glory. So again, that would be extra evidence that uh, M. Russell Ballard and the Mormon Church lied about their support of Tim Ballard and OUR financially. Um, it goes on, random call from Elder Ballard himself. So Elder Ballard calls Russell Brunson. 
It was the secretary at first, and he actually thought it was a prank to begin with, and eventually they transferred him to Elder Ballard. He talked to Tim and the important work of OUR, and guess what? ClickFunnels, the company Russell Brunson started, was one of the main producers of the Operation Toussaint. So again, that means that um, Russell Brunson followed Apostle and Russell Ballard's suggestions and became a donor to Tim Ballard, not just to the movie Sounds of Freedom and to OUR, but also to Operation Toussaint, which was one of the uh, jumps, one of the operations. Heck, his name is on the front of the movie as a producer. Russell told me this story and obviously was honored to get the call from Elder Ballard, but had never met him. So yeah, these headlines have some meat to them. So that's an important, another, if, we, if, if Russell Brunson's video weren't enough, that's another um, validation from an alleged friend of Russell Brunson. Another comment that was made, this is uh, prize claim 7277 on ExMormon Reddit. Russell Brunson told the story on his Facebook on how Russell Ballard contacted him about OUR. He did it the day after the church made the statement. He thought he was helping the case because he thought the statement couldn't have been real, but now, but know that they know it was real. His little video is pretty incriminating. I believe it is still up on Facebook and Mormonism Live talked about it when they had Lynn Packer on. Um, that is all true. Another, um, this is Expensive Actuary 14 again. He made the original post. He writes, yeah, he was definitely not ashamed of the story. Only difference with this news article and what he told me is he told me he got a random call from Elder Ballard's office out of the blue, not Tim introducing him to Elder Ballard, but a call directly from Elder Ballard's office. Small detail, but glad to see he's not running away from the story he told me. So this is M. Russell Ballard apparently going through a Rolodex of wealthy tithe payers and donors and and requesting that they support, um, you know, external uh, nonprofits and for-profits and initiatives, which uh, is important. Um, Kevin Rex writes, the statement is technically true. The tithing records, this is kind of sarcastic. That statement is technically true. The tithing records weren't released directly to OUR. They were given to someone who made notes about the big time donors potentially, and then the records were taken back or something like that. See, the church is true. So it's basically saying that when the church denies sharing wealthy donor information or tithing information with people like Tim Ballard or OUR, they do it through shady, sketchy, backhanded um, means. And I'm not alleging that's true. I'm just uh, saying that's what people are, are wondering. So going back to this KUTV article, um, again, we've already admitted that the church never denied the allegations that M. Russell Ballard shared tithing donor information with Tim Ballard. They basically just claimed that he didn't share it with OUR, um, which appears to be um, a, a way to uh, throw people off the scent to deceive, which isn't being honest. But it goes on now, Brunson admitted that he's donated significantly to OUR after being asked by Elder Ballard to support Tim Ballard and OUR. Um, and this is just one donor, let me just be clear. How many other donors did M. Russell Ballard call and encourage to donate? And again, neither M. Russell Ballard nor the Mormon Church denies that Elder Ballard gave tithing donor information to Tim Ballard directly which is, I believe, what the uh, lawsuit, the amended lawsuit against Tim Ballard and all the other co-defendants alleges. So we're still waiting for the Mormon Church to clarify um, that. All right. Well, uh, that is that is the episode that I wanted to share with you today. We'll be covering more of this in the weeks, months ahead. Um, we. We appreciate everyone who supports what we do. And we just want to call on the Mormon Church to be honest, the Church PR to be honest, the Deseret News to be honest, Tim Ballard to be honest, Russell Brunson to be honest. Um, stop lying, stop deceiving, tell the truth. Hold yourselves to the same standard of accountability that you hold tithe paying members um, for the temple recommend and that you use to keep them out of the temple, to keep the saving ordinances from them, to shame them and to keep them out of heaven and to keep them out of their own family members' weddings. I will add that Mormonism Live uh, begins in an hour. They do great work. Please support them. I'm also going to just ask everybody, please subscribe to the Mormon Stories podcast, YouTube channel, and on Facebook. 
Thanks for the super chats. And the most important way you can support this uh, journalism, this reporting, is to go to mormonstories.org, click on the donate button and become a monthly donor. We lose donors every month because people get busy, um, people move on, people fall on financial hard times. And if we don't get your financial support and have new people sign up to donate, then we um, then we have to stop providing um, you know, the services that we provide. I want to thank uh, Julie, Gerardo for helping me make this episode. Also thank Julia and Maven for uh, time code show notes, moderating the chats, etc. And I want to thank all the sources that uh, make all this possible, um, including uh, the tip that, that we got uh, that we referred to previously. Um, we'll have more uh, reporting on the weeks, months ahead. I will say that uh, I know that we've done a little bit less uh, standard vanilla long form Mormon stories and we've been covering news more. Um, that's because uh, these stories are so important. Um, and so we, we uh, hope you understand that, you know, the, the traditional news media can't, um, can't understand the Mormon angles, can't connect all these dots. And then frankly, Oftentimes the Mormon church is suppressing the reporting of a lot of these news outlets with legal threats, apparently, or allegedly, or other sorts of calls like with ABC. So we have to do reporting that others can't. So we apologize if you're frustrated that Mormon Stories has done less long form, uh, just Mormon stories that we've been covering more news lately. We hope you understand why. Uh, thanks for supporting us. Be good to each other. Be kind to each other. Um, follow us again soon for more stories. Support all the good channels out there like Nuance Ho, Mormonism Live, Radio Free Mormon, Mormonish, uh, uh, Lynn Packer. Uh, there's so many good programs out there. Nemo the Mormon. Support them all. Um, uh, be kind to each other. Be good to each other. We'll see you all again soon on another episode of Mormon Stories Podcast. And Russell Brunson, if you want to come on Mormon Stories Podcast, um, we would love to have you. That's an open invitation. Same with them, Russell Ballard. Same with Tim Ballard. Same with OUR. UR. Um, we would love to uh, have you all on to tell your side of the story. Um, thanks, everyone, and uh, we'll see you all again soon. Bye.